You have in your heart received my word. You have received the warnings of my prophets, and you have received the warnings of those with sensitive heart that the election that is upon the United States of America is the most important election of this generation. Many have said it's the most important election since the earliest days of the founding of this nation. There are giants in the land, giants of the banks, giants of the people with influence, giants of those that have power, and they will use it. Donald Trump enters into this race truly as an outsider. He's not part of the establishment. He was friends with many because he supported many. But once he made the stand that we need to clean up the corruption in this land to the very highest levels, he was no longer their friend. It's amazing how quickly people can turn. You think they love you until you stand up for the truth. Because those who are in the darkness do not want the light. They will flee. They will hide. And if possible, they will extinguish the light. And my children, you can see how many entities are desperate to snuff out the light of this man. And I give him because there is a desire in my heart for a revolution. A revolution. A repentance because of the things that this nation has done that are so against God's Son. Because of the mindset. Because these are principalities in high places that need to be bound, pulled down, and destroyed. And instead, the flag raised of your righteous God. Yahweh is my name and righteousness and holiness are my name. Everything is synonymous that is good because I'm the father of lights in whom there is no variableness nor shadow, not even a shadow of turning. I'm consistent in my holiness. I'm consistent in my justice. I'm consistent in my righteousness, says Yahweh. And there is so much unrighteousness, unholiness in this nation. Changeableness, fickleness. And there is fear. Fear when I have said, if you will honor my word and live accordingly, you will have good success. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy lips, but you must meditate in it day and night so that you will be careful to do according to all that is written therein. This is the recipe for success. Yes, success even of an entire nation. And I want my people to come back to me. I want my people to walk righteously and with justice. And it's not being found. The more you dig, the more corruption you will find. It's just under the ground. You take off one shovel full of dirt because it is tried to be covered up. And on first look, you don't see it. My son, you didn't see it when you first began getting involved in the United States. You didn't see the corruption, what was going on, and how much was at stake in the election. You were very happy that Barack Obama won. You thought this is a terrific statement of how fair is the true American. 
but you didn't understand the corruption. You didn't understand what's going on behind the scenes. My son, you were looking at a field and it looked fine to you. And there were even things growing that looked green. But when you take that shovel and you dig down even six inches into the ground, you will find rot. You will find corruption. And the more you dig, the deeper you go, the more you weep your head and say, oh, whoa, because this is against the law of Yah. These are against the righteousness, my commandments, my Torah. And it is throughout the system, bribery, this corruption, this pay to play, as they say, this interference within a sovereign nation that comes. Did you know that a outside nation, an outside nation, cannot influence the election legally? Did you know that outside nation states cannot invest into the electoral process in America? They must not wield their influence so as to protect the integrity of the vote. But it has happened so much. And there are entities at work that are totally corrupting the truth. And they are leveraging their weight, their power, their money, their influence because they do not want to see Donald Trump win this race because he stands for something completely different than what they have and what they wish. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, as you've read today, my son, is a cog. Think of a watch. There's the cog. And many other wheels are connected thereunto. Well, it's very true that she's the center. And when you remove that center, the other wheels will have difficulty to turn. And so everything has been lined up for her. Even Barack Obama was lined up to win. And even as you see, Citibank were the ones who dictated his administration. My son, I'm revealing these things to you coming from here, there, coming in the newspapers, on the internet, but coming into your spiritual ears. So just yield to me your bodies this day because this election is crucial to the future of America. I know the end from the beginning, and I'm asking you to pray. I'm asking you to stand for righteousness. Many of the prophets stood in the face of abject opposition and were even sawn asunder, destroyed by their so-called administrations of their nations. Because when you speak against the powers that be, they have all power to try to kill you expeditiously. This has been seen, and more will be seen to come. My children, they say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the administration, but I declare it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living Yahweh. So my son and daughter, just do what you need to do. There's not much time left. Tuesday morning will come, and people will be flocking to the voting booths, and many with great conviction. But you need to have conviction for righteousness and let it spread. Do your part. Do everything you can to persuade. Paul said, I... You must we see yourself as Messiah's ambassador. You represent a nation far greater than even this nation, the nation of heaven, the nation of the kingdom of God. And this is what you are to preach. This is what you are to 
Beseech them, beg them, pray. I beseech you, be ye reconciled to God. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the whole earth, and then shall the end come. Will I find you at work in my kingdom? Because I am the master of the harvest. And I give unto you this stewardship. Take care. Invest. Make certain that good fruit comes forth. Fruit of righteousness. Give of yourselves. Pray. With every connection that you make online, my son, my daughter, pray. With every connection, with every post that you make, pray. Pray that I will extend righteousness through this which I've given to you to play, to sing, to say. Pray that there will be fruit of righteousness that will come from your efforts, my son, my daughter, in these next two days. These three days that are upon you, including today, and the two full days of Sunday and Monday, put your shoulder to the plow. Give everything you have. And remember, you need to have those wheels on the ground. When you're posting, not many are seeing, though many will see. But it's up to you, my children, to make it visible. Give that unto me. Do your part, and I'll do my part. My son, there are many pages, timelines, people, entities, your part of mailing lists that come even to you. These are avenues through which there's great distribution. And I have given you an anointing, and it needs to be seen. So as you pray and give out these things, believe, and I will take your songs, and people will share them, and they will find not only before the election, but many will find after the election that this is a man of integrity and conviction. And the songs that he plays are music to their ears, are soothing and bring healing and fill hearts that are yearning and longing for something. They'll find it because they'll find me in your songs, Stephen. Give your best to me. Make the effort. Be faithful, my son and my daughter. As much as you wish that you could be at certain places on this weekend, you say, but we need the finances. But I say to you, you need me. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. My son, my daughter, it was me that canceled the events that you had on this weekend. It is me that said unto you, whatever lot you have, thou hast taught and have been taught to say, it is well with your soul, it is well, because I'm a child of Yahweh. And I will give unto you blessings in the days to come. But right now, this is your final leg. It is down to the wire. It's the final stretch of this race to the White House. So my son and daughter, put every effort you have and be effective in what you do for me this day. When packing a suitcase for the airline, because you have to catch and get off the ground in time to get to your destination, do your commitment, your ministry, there comes a time when you have to draw the line and you say, there's no more time to determine, decide what's going to go in this suitcase and what's going to be left behind. And my son, that's how you have to act now. You have to draw the line. It's time. You've got to drive to the airport. And so you zip up your case, and now you drive, get there. Because if you miss this flight, I don't need to say, don't miss the flight, says Yahweh. This is my word to you, my children. On this day, November 5, 
Give yourself away. Give yourself away. There's a race to win, now go. And do the best that you can. And leave the 